Hi guys, Hope Crossman, back again. Something different tonight, come down the local river, I'm going to try and quickly show you how to change between single dry and single nymph on the same setup. Basically what I've got here, 9 foot 2, 3 weight dry fly rod, weight 4 3 fly line, hand tied tapered leader about 16 foot long, it's got knots in it and that's quite important and I'll show you why later. About 2.5 foot level tippet, thin diameter line and a single dry. I'm going to have a quick fish with the dry, then change over to the nymph and show you a few tricks with it. Very quickly, over on the dry fly, love a little wild brown it. Right now, I'll quickly show you how we switch over very quickly to a single nymph. So, dry comes off. Nymph goes on. Shorten the line right up. No. On a specific nymphing rod, you have a guide much closer to the handle and that's to stop this big sag of line forming when you're holding the rod elevated. So how you get round that when you're using a dry fly rod to nymph is you throw a loop of line around the blank. And what that means is then when you hold the rod like that you don't get this big sag. No. the next thing, this is a clear dry fly leader so I need to put some indication into this leader for when I nymph fish. So what I do, come up to where the tip it's connected, go in here, have a small gadget that allows me to very quickly put fluorescent grease on the leader now that is my nymphing indicator what I'm going to do now is quickly nip up into some faster water and hopefully we'll try and get one on the nymph hi guys so I'm going to do a little bit of nymphing now same rig as before there's two ways that you can fish this the first one is where you float the sighter all that means is you're allowing the grease section of the leader to float on the surface of the water to indicate the tape. That gives you a slightly longer drift window and lets you fish a lighter fly over a longer distance. The other way to do it is more straight up Euro style, which is with a higher rod, a relatively shorter line, and you're really only fishing with the leader. Now that's why I mentioned earlier on that you want a hand-tied tapered leader for this kind of setup. The reason being, even if I have that line wrapped around the blank when I'm elevating the rod, the knots in the leader prevent everything from sliding back down the rings when I'm elevating with a very, very light fly. Modern European nymphing has gone the route of these very, very thin level leaders with, very, with basically no knots. And those absolutely are the best way to purely nymph fish, but they're severely lacking when it comes to fishing a dry fly. This is, in my opinion, the best all round method for quickly changing dry to single nymph particularly on a small stream like this. We'll give it a go.
go. It's a nice little wild brown caught on the nymph for slipping back. I caught that one floating the sighter. So basically I was having to fish at more range than you would with traditional Euro style. When I do that, I don't have that loop of line around the blank so that I have good control. If I was going to come in very tight and fish more straight up Euro style, I would throw that loop of line around the blank before that butt guide to prevent it all sagging back. Anyway, I hope that's of use to you. Give it a go the next time you're out. Saves a lot more hassle than having to run up and down the river with two rods, particularly in a small stream like this.